Stocks are feeling the pain, but remember, it's only a certain type of stock. Not all stocks are going down. How do I know? It's because I have some diversified portfolios and certain areas are actually flexing their muscles right now. And that is why we're going to be talking about the power of diversification during uncertain times. Hey, I'm Luke Downey. Here's another edition of Lessons with Luke. Been investing for about two decades. And I just want to make you a better investor. So if you like this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So are markets crashing? No. Are there some stocks that are going down? Yes. Which ones are they? Tech stocks. Which ones are they? Growth stocks. And why is that? It's just because there is a big rotation that is happening and rotations happen from time to time. And if you're new to investing, this is part of the game. So you got to get used to this and remember, don't give up on your great stocks. Just realize that we're going through a rotation and they happen from time to time because portfolio managers on Wall Street, they will move their money in and out of certain groups based on what's hot, what's not for all different types of reasons. And it doesn't mean that the stocks are bad. It doesn't mean that uh, things are going to crash. All it means is that they see opportunity in certain pockets of stocks right now. And right now, those are the reopen names. So let's go ahead and talk about diversification what is diversification diversification basically just says when you make investments don't put all of your eggs in one basket what you want to do is you want to spread your wealth out amongst different groups so that if one of those groups does really well or does really poorly the other groups will help to balance out or dampen some of the pain uh, on the downside or participate in some of the love on the upside. So if your portfolio is just feeling pain, you're probably only long growth stocks or tech stocks. But if you have a diversified portfolio, like the example that we're going to go over, some of these groups of stocks are actually doing really well in this environment. So this is an example of a diversified portfolio that I have that has a mix of growth it's got a mix of REITs and those are just real estate investment trusts. They tend to be high dividends. They're doing really well in this environment. There's also dividend growth. And so that can be a mixture of any type of stock that is continually growing their dividend, maybe early on in their phase of their uh, life cycle. And then also spread out some of the market cap weightings that you have. So some small cap, some mid cap, some large cap, because Sometimes we have rotations that are market cap based. And so that's what we're seeing right now. And investors tend to forget this because, you know, last year, even though growth stocks did really well during the pandemic, there was a big growth pullback that happened last summer. And investors tend to forget this because if you look at a chart on a long-term chart, you don't even see the pullback, right? It's because stocks go up over time and, you know, the little five, 10% pullbacks here and there, they don't really register on a chart whenever you look at it in the long term and that's typically what is happening right now with this rotation so odds are a couple of months from now we're not even going to remember this rotational pullback because uh investors tend to not have uh the longest memories and so keep that in mind that if your portfolio is feeling nothing but pain you're probably not diversified and whenever there is volatility under the surface and there are these big rotational rampages diversified portfolios tend to uh, perform better in this type of environment. And I've been talking about uh, dividend stocks and how they've been doing really well. You can check that out on curzioresearch.com. I write uh, an article every single week and I have been hitting on the fact that dividend stocks have been doing really well. They have been uh, a magnet for big money buying. And that is still true to this day, even yesterday, uh, which, there was a big sell-off. All it was, was a big rotation. So keep that in mind that whenever you look at stocks and if, if you're just focused on NASDAQ stocks, that is just one area of the market. There are plenty of other areas that are doing just fine right now. And when you're diversified, sometimes the pain is a little less. So consider that, that is your lesson for today. Leave me some comments. Are you diversified? Or are you going straight diamond hands into growth? I wanna hear from you. Have a great week.